January 12th, 2014. Guys, we've got a report of two quakes. They'll probably uh, tap this back down to one because when you come in that first one at one kilometer, they're just picking it up, but they're showing 28.5 kilometers deep on the 6.5. Guys, this is on that fault zone, uh, fault zone that connects the Middle Atlantic Ridge and the San Andreas Fault. It goes just above that Cayman Trench. And it's down near the uh, tip, guys, of the North American Craton. And we've had quakes today uh, over fours near our geysers. And uh, in California near the uh, that huge thermonuclear plant there in <clears throat> geyser. And up to about 37 kilometers north of Old Faithful was a quake. But, guys, these are strong. There's no tsunami report out now. But they were felt, guys, this is in uh, Bayou Corn at the time of the quake. I'm just going to kind of scan through. If you look under the blue right there, you see Bayou Corn. Now, this is the bottom of the sinkhole where you saw that. We can just kind of scan through some of these. But you got Bayou Corn. Uh, we picked them up up in Arkansas. I'm sure they rang around the world, guys, if you check it. <clears throat> there. You, uh, let's look at this one now in temporary. Same time in, at 2200, midway through that. So the quake was felt around those 6.5s, guys, will ring around the globe. Most everything will pick it up that you check from the Pacific Northwest. But there's no tsunami warning. You can see this. Just check the Caribbean Sea. And uh, it going to give you that was the one down in uh from the first now let's go today to january 13th this is where the quake is right there we'll click on the text and check that out but the, guys that's a one of those breaking points when the, uh, in the earth's crust very strange right angles in that particular impact area also i've always wondered about that it's like something scraped it now here's what uh they're saying about this saying that this applies to countries within and boarding the Caribbean Sea, except for Puerto Rico. Again, magnitude 6.4, uh, one saying 6.5. It, a destructive tsunami threat does not exist based on historical earthquake and tsunami data. It says, uh, however, there's a small possibility of a local tsunami that could affect coasts located usually no more than 100 kilometers from the epicenter. Authorities should be alerted. Guys, this may be part of what's going on. We we know we've had the uh, solar flares, and I said a couple of days ago that it had weakened certain points when that X flare came in. Look at the radial speed, guys. This is 900 kilometers a second. That's a little over 2 million miles per hour. And this will normally range uh, at around 350, but it's been climbing. Notice that. Temperatures went up in the blue line. You see that the density has went down some, but the radial speed, we're going into ISON's uh, incoming debris trail, and some said we're going to get a bounce back from both sides. Proton spike from the e from the A satellites at the time. You see this right there? Now, here's uh, current wind speed. You see it's down below 800. But, guys, this uh, is... This is not an updated chart. I'll, I'll show you one of the updated ones. And what's unusual about this is we had a predicted increase. That's plasma density there on the Earth. Now, that's back on the 12th. We should be coming out of that. But notice here, guys, coming into the 13th on the UTC time now. Check this out. 500 is what they expected us to be at now. Notice it is rising for the next day, uh, up to the 15th, actually. And that's the midpoint of the seven days of passage of the uh, I Sun debris stream. Check that out. So, if we're at, they're thinking we would be at 500 and going to raise up another 100 kilometers, guys, we've already peaked at over 900 and it's rising now as, as I'm doing the video. So, as this pressure on the earth increases, we've seen these volcanoes and the heat went up also. Now, this is uh, looking at our, our magnetopause. And did you see those red lines pop back like that? That's a lot of pressure. This is just a few frames. This is coming in from the uh, our GOES satellite system. 
quite a bit of pressure there as you see those magnetic lines uh, change. Now look at the uh, ace density here. Still continuing to rise. Now this is live updates. You're looking at live instrumentation here. Ion density, everything's on the rise. That ace density is up. The electrons, protons. So notice also the ace magnetic field, guys, coming into the 13th. Very different. It's, now, what's strange about this magnetic field is, is that solar wind pressure comes in. Guys, you know it uh, activates that magnetic lines of force around the Earth. It gets more intense in your roars. Northern lights become more and more uh, distinct. Things like that. And remember in the video earlier we talked about the magnetic lines of force could be affected by whatever is moving from the south of Earth. They're depicted, they have uh, been watching it. Now it makes a little more sense when you think about why the uh, Lucifer telescope is infrared because we've talked about what are they watching you know why, why are all the telescopes watching this event and now um, it, I'm not sure how much of that uh, two-hour show you watch but this magnetic field of energy this ball of energy that's headed towards earth from the south of us is only detectable in infrared are you listening now that could disrupt the magnetic lines of force of Earth that could go all the way. And when you, when you do this, guys, they're talking about DNA changing events on Earth when you have this compression in these gaps. Very, very strange times we're living in. But this is a heads up. Watch for these quakes.